Hello guys, this is Lina Asli, Maya in Kitu Hotel. I'm in a beautiful field today and all this field belongs to the Geomorphological Reserve where I'm gonna be today because I want to activate this reserve, this park. The goal of my video of today is not activation of this fantastic park but to discuss and to experiment with a 30 meter band of my MA12 antenna. You know this antenna from my previous video in the other park and it works nicely on all, on all band 40 to 10 but 30 meter band was a little bit problematic. I decided to make a mod for this antenna employing different type of coil. Spoiler alert, the different type of coil is right over there, works very very nicely and stay tuned and you will see what's going on with this coil compared to the original 7 megahertz coil employed on 30 meter band. This was not a good idea, workable but no good. This idea with separate coil is a good idea, stay tuned. The 7 megahertz coil, the original stock one which comes with the package gives a very very nice resonance on 7.1 megahertz with this 10 meter cable included of course i think the cable's length also contributes to the to the radials there are four radials 3.5 meters each and and the, the fifth radial we can say is 10 meters of of uh, cable shield we see a very nice resonance very nice dip and very good SWR 1.1 to 1 the impedance is 42 ohms so now normally you could operate on 30 meter band with the same 7 megahertz coil at least that's what user manual advises to do the whole antenna which operates on uh, 30 meter band with this configuration with the loading heavy loading coil you know is half of the length of the whole antenna so the whole antenna is more than five meters when it's all up so now half of this antenna is down and we have half half of the length of the antenna uh, effectively radiating signal onto the air so we see a dip but not that nice dip as with the another coil and with fully extracted whip uh, the swr is still acceptable 1.4 to 1 but you see the impedance is lower so i think the efficiency is also quite quite low in this case it could work it could work on 30 meter band with this coil uh, but efficiency will be much lower then having another coil and almost fully extended telescoping whip that i like much better and this is a new coil i bought specially for this project you know uh, to make a separate 30 meter coil the coil looks a little, a little differently from uh, from the original one you can see that, that the original one on the right is made of a laminated uh, magnet wire uh, and, and and it's covered in the shrinking uh, transparent uh, tubing and very very nice coil indeed so uh, i did not want you know to damage to mutilate this coil like you know taking off the transparent shrinking tubing and then scraping off the enameling cover of the wire uh, so anyway i decided to keep it as it is it's very very nice coil so i love it and i keep it as it is and i use it on on, on 40 meter band and this coil is made also nicely made by a different uh, chinese producer this coil uh, is made of is wound of um, non-laminated uh, magnet wire which is very good it means you know i can easily solder here and here and here whatever i want uh, and it was very easy to find the tab i made calculations the whole coil would actually work exactly the same as as the original one it could be used uh, if you know 
fully, no taps made. It, if it goes fully like this, this coil could be used, you know, for 40 meters uh, also. Uh, but in my case, uh, I don't need the universal coil. But oh, of course, okay, guys, I hear you writing and I hear you saying that, you know, you yeah, well make make you know make one wire here another wire here uh, make a kind of a link connection like in the link uh, link dipole or whatever uh, or tap the tiny croco here and you will have one coil universal you know when you work on uh, 20 meters and up you just you know shoot it out when you walk on 30 meters you tap here uh, when you walk on 40 you you know you disconnect everything and you have the the, the full coil yes i know i know i can do that but i don't want it to because I want to have this coil as compact and as, you know, shallow, whatever. Uh, not having all these uh, wires and croco and connectors, you know, uh, poking out from, from the coil, whatever. So, I decided it's not a big deal. It's a big bag. Both coils, you know, fit in it. Uh, so, when I, when I want to work 30, I just, you know, assemble this coil. When I want to work 20 and up, I take this coil, you know, at all, no coil at all. And when I want to work 40 meter bands, I put this coil in here. So, okay, it takes maybe a minute, a minute or two uh, of time to arrange everything, but uh, I like it as it is. Screws in nicely, it's M10 thread. It's not inches, so it's meters. Um, metric system so <clears throat> it's not three-eighths of, of, of an inch it's m10 uh, and it's not compatible you know if you got if you got some other tubing from other other antennas you know like buddy stick whatever you you could use it no problems but you need you need an adapter from uh, inches to metric system uh, these adapters exist you can buy them cheaply for a few bucks on on uh, on internet all right, it's very windy today in this field. So, but now I need to extract the antenna almost at full extent in order to have it working on uh, 30 meter band nicely. So, unfortunately, there is no engraved marking for 30 meter band uh, because there are, uh, for other bands it's very convenient there are uh, in markings engraved. Empirically, I know that it's almost full lengths so should be extracted of the telescoping whip in order to have it working on so now it's fully extracted i make it one segment less and i hope it's gonna be fine this is where this type of antenna really shines you know because there's no trees around here just huge field and this field is exactly a park territory where I should be in because I'm activating a park today. So, uh, and uh, there's no uh, any no no way out of this, you know, uh, but to bring your own mast with all the installation, you know, it takes time, it's possible, no problems. Or you bring this antenna, which is already kind of a mast, so it is, it's a ground plane antenna. All right, so here is, I just extracted one section to the full length and then diminished by half the last section. So I have uh, all the sections extracted except uh, of uh, half of the last one. And, and I hope you can see very, very nice dip here. 1.2 to 1 SWR. Absolutely fantastic, no problems. And it covers the whole the whole range of the 30 meter band. It's a narrow band, so no, not exceeding 1.5 to 1 uh, on on the edges. So that's that's fine. That's fine. All right. So 30 meters calling CQ. Operation on 30 meter band was quite successful. I had a nice pileup to my CQ, 
So all in all, I made 18 contacts into nine European countries during 15 minutes of time. The countries were representing North, West and South of Europe, so I can make a conclusion that my MA-12 ground plane was demonstrating a nice omnidirectional radiation pattern, as it should be. Very good, very good. 30 meters is working, no problems, no problems. CQ Florafauna, CQ Florafauna, this is Lima Yankee 2 Hotel Stroke Portable, London Yankee 2 Hotel Stroke Portable. London Yankee 2 Hotel Stroke Portable calling Flora Fauna and listening. Lima Zulu 1 Hotel Delta. <laughs> Lima Zulu 1 Hotel Delta. Good morning, you are a 5 by 9, very strong yourself. Thank you for the nice signal report. You are also 59 near Sofia, yourself. Roger near Sofia, 73, good luck. QRZ Lima Yankee. This is what you heard was the beginning of a pile up on 20 meter band where the MA-12 antenna is acting as a no-coil, full-size, quarter-wavelength, vertical ground plane antenna. On SSB and later CW, I got 47 contacts in the log of the same omnidirectional nature. Frankly speaking, this is as good as a field dipole put on some 7-meter mast. On 40 meter band, using the original loading coil, the stations from Poland in the southwest and Finland in the northwest were coming through exceptionally loud and clear and also giving me very good reports. So maybe the pattern is a bit directional on 40 meters? What do you think? The comment section is open for you. Propagation very strange, but it, it's okay. <coughs> okay, summing up guys, I've activated a park very successfully, I've done more than 80, 80 contacts, that's twice as enough to activate a park, and uh, almost a quarter of these contacts, so around 20, was done on 30 meter band, using this nice coil. So, I think this nice coil which I invested maybe some 20 bu bucks or euros in is one of the most justified and one of the most uh, successful investments. <laughs> it's an excellent value for money. It's a robust, nicely made coil. The windings are good to, to solder them. So, and you can easily, you know, choose the, the right tap on, onto the coil to make it resonant on 30 meter band. And I have this nice coil for 40 meter band. So, if I, if I wanna go 30 meter band, I just swap the coils. That's it for today, guys. Please leave your comments in the comment section. What do you think about this very quick and very easy and simple project? Would it be worthwhile for you to invest in this coil? And what actually do you do? Or maybe you are happy with you with running 30 meter band, just you know, uh, running uh, the same coil for 7 megahertz, which is included, just you know, shortening down the telescoping whip up to maybe half of the length of it. So as as you saw in the in the beginning of this video. So I think the more radiating element in the year you have, the better. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. 73. This is Linas, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel. Cheerio.